Senior managers would want a daily status report to track the progress and take appropriate actions whenever required. So they would expect a daily email with an attachment containing the progress. This scheduled task can be easily performed by using Power Automate by connecting to Power BI service. Hello viewers, in this video, I'll walk you through the steps to schedule an automated email containing an attachment on the status from Power BI service. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on my new videos on technical front. For this video, I'm going to consider the sample report from Microsoft which is the Retail Analysis Sample PBIX file. I already have it published to Power BI service. In this video, we are going to look at three scenarios. One is sending the complete report as an attachment. The second scenario is sending only the selected pages in that report as an attachment. And the third scenario is sending only the selected visuals as an attachment. Now let's go to the first scenario where we are going to send this complete report as an attachment over email. To make use of the Power Automate, we have to go to make.powerautomate.com, which will take us to this particular page. Here, we are going to create a new scheduled flow. So click on create. And here, click on schedule cloud flow. You need to provide certain details for this particular flow. The first one is the flow name. I'm going to send this report on a weekly basis. So I'm going to give the flow name to be weekly status report. And I want this flow to run from next Monday, which is from 28th July. And this report needs to be shared at 10 a.m. So this flow should run every week. So I'll select week here. By default, all the days will get selected. But I want this flow to run only on Monday. So I'll deselect the remaining days. So once after all these details are provided, click on create. A new blank page will appear where you can design your flow by adding new actions to it. So I'll click on the plus sign where I'm going to add the first action. Now what we have done is we have just scheduled this flow. Now, what is the action that is required to send an email with a report? For that, we first have to export the report from Power BI service in a shareable PDF format or to some image format. Then I'll need to send an email. So my first action item is to export the data to a PDF format. I'll type Power BI here. which is going to display me the list of actions related to Power BI. And here I'm going to select export to file for Power BI reports. This is the step that is going to help us export the data to a PDF format. And in this step, we need to provide certain connection details. So the name of the workspace is my workspace. And the report that I'm going to work on is retail analysis sample PBIX file. As per my first scenario, we are going to export the complete report in a PDF format. So I'm not going to give any other advanced parameters here. The export format is going to be PDF. Then I'll click on save. After exporting the data to a PDF format, the next step is to send email. So I'll type mail here. And from Office 365 Outlook, I'm going to select send an email v2 where I need to provide the mail details. For this demo video, I'm going to send an email to myself. So I'll give my mail ID here. And the subject of this mail is going to be weekly status report. And we can specify some content here. I'll say, hi ma'am, attached is the weekly status report. And the importance is going to be normal. Now we are going to attach the PDF file here. So in the advanced parameters, 
select attachments so that is going to display us a field which says add new item so i'll click on that and it is going to ask me for the attachment name attachment name is going to be the name of your report in power bi service the name of my report is retail analysis sample pbix so i'll give retail analysis sample pbix i have exported it to pdf format so i'll give dot pdf and the content is going to be the content from the report so it is going to be a dynamic content so i'll give slash insert dynamic content so here you have to select the file content so the contents of the file which is the power bi report will be sent as a pdf format now after providing all these details click on save now your flow is ready to go we recommend you to test it so the first step is to test this flow i'll click on test and i'm going to test this flow manually click on test and then click on run now so the flow has successfully started let's go to the flow runs page to see the status this page is going to display the run history of this particular flow this is the first time i'm running this flow so i got only one record here now the status says test succeeded now let's go to the mailbox to see if we have got any mail or not so i am in my outlook i can see this particular email which says hi ma'am attached is the weekly status report and i've got an attachment in the pdf format opening the attachment is going to show me all the pages of the report that we have in power bi service so this is the first scenario where we are sharing the complete report as a pdf format over email now let's go to the second scenario where i want only this store sales overview page to be shared to my end user i'm not going to create a new flow rather i'm going to edit the existing flow so in this step we have exported the entire power bi report to pdf format now since we are going to select only one page in the advanced parameters select pages and it is going to ask us few details regarding the page that we want to share the first thing is the page name in the report i want the overview page to be shared we generally end up giving the page name as overview but that will not work here we need to know how power bi service is going to refer to this page when you select the different pages here in power bi service you can see the page name here which is report section and the overview is going to be report section 3 district monthly sales to be report section 2 and new stores to be report section 4 Now, since I want only the overview page to be shared, I need to give the page name as report section three. So, in the page name, I'll have to give it as report section three. And the visual is going to be optional, meaning I'm going to share the complete page. Now, let me save this flow. Let's try to test this flow. I'll click on manually test, and then I'm going to run the flow. Okay, let's go to the flow runs page. This page is going to showcase the history details of this particular flow. Now the status says test succeeded. Let's go to the mailbox. Here I've got a new mail, and clicking on this PDF file. is going to have only one page which is the overview page say for example i want to share this visual alone which is our scenario 3 that we'll be looking on now for that i'm going to edit the same flow inside 
the page name, we have the visual name, where we can give the name of that particular visual. Now the question is, how are we going to get the visual name from the report? Go to the Power BI service, go to the visual that you want to share. So this is what I want to share from the overview page. So click on the ellipsis and then click on share and the link to the visual. Click on copy. You will be getting the link here, which is the link to this particular visual. The name of this visual is visual container food. And that is what we are going to give there in the Power Automate. So I'm going to give visual container 4 in the visual name and then click on save. Now let's try to test this flow. I'm going to run this flow manually. Now we can see that the flow test has succeeded. Let's go to the mailbox and see what email we had got. Click on this PDF file. And here you can see only this visual to be shared in PDF format. Hope you have got a clear picture of how you can send the complete Power BI report or only some pages or some visuals of it as an attachment. Stay tuned to my channel for more technical videos.